Hi guys, it's me Pearl from Let's Veg About It and I am here to share with you guys another set of videos. So this set of videos is a seven part series um, called How to Heal from Covert Passive Aggressive Narcissistic Abuse. And in this introductory video, I will be sharing the reason why I am creating this video and a little background story as well as an overview of what I will be covering in this series. So I remember talking to a friend of mine and she said, you know, sharing our testimony um, helps us heal. But I wanted to extend that. Sometimes hearing other people's testimonies helps other people heal. And maybe you are watching this series because you feel like you may have just heard what this was for the first time. Or maybe you're dealing with this and you don't know how to handle what is going on. And so I am here to give you some deep questions and thoughts to process through, to encourage you on how to heal as a Christian and to hopefully help you have hope and direction that God does have an answer to your struggles. And I know a lot of times we will feel alone and frustrated, and I hope that this video series will help you um, heal. Uh, another reason why I am doing this is because I know it was the, one of the hardest things that I have had to deal with in the most recent years. Now, I have gone through other types of traumas in my past, and I have healed from those, and I was in a place at the time of a great serenity in my life and serious healing. And I was just on cloud nine until I met this person and they just came like a wrecking ball. And I thought to myself, God, how do I deal with someone who claims to be a Christian and yet exhibits all of these characteristics that are so contrary to the principles of what the Bible teaches. And how do I deal with someone with narcissistic personalities? And I don't know, regardless whether it's a covert passive aggressive narcissist or even the traditional narcissist, we still have to ask ourselves, how do we manage this as a Christian? And how do we deal with keeping our faith intact as we're going through this? Um, you know, do you keep turning a cheek as they keep slapping you? Um, or is this, or is there another Christian method to it? Do we keep forgiving and forgetting? How do we avoid building up resentment? These were some of the questions I had to address personally while in the midst of this conflict. And you may be asking the same questions. And if you are, I pray that this series of videos helps you heal um, in the process of helping me heal, you know, and we can sharpen each other's swords. Um, prior to even um, hearing what a covert passive aggressive narcissist was, I had no idea. I had never heard, I've heard of what, a, I've heard what a narcissist was. I kn knew that, but I'd never heard of all the variations of a narcissist. I didn't even know that existed. And so this one threw me for a loop um, and I had no idea who to go to. And one day as I was talking with a friend about this, I, and actually I was seeking advice, they said to me, you know, Pearl, I think this person is a covert passive aggressive narcissist. And I thought, wait, what is that? I'd never heard of it. And so I went and Googled everything I could and I researched on YouTube and I listened to tons of videos about it. But I was left feeling like there wasn't an answer to a lot of my faith-based questions and it wasn't through the lens of a Christian. There were a lot of quote ways to heal and ways to address it but they seemed so contrary to my beliefs and I kept thinking to myself, God, there must be a answer of dealing with this in a proper way. And so after I did a lot of my research, 
I realized that there is. And God revealed to me a lot in his word on how to deal with this. And I can't say it went all well, but it revealed to me aspects of God's character and how he deals with us as we sin. And unfortunately, many of us will suffer um, the consequences of someone's bad choices. And we have to be able to know as a Christian not to fall apart when these things happen. And I want to hopefully affirm you knowing that your instincts were right all along. That the things that you felt seemed off was off. That all the red flags that you started seeing and maybe that you're feeling currently, they're correct. And I pray that God will reveal to you healthy ways in coping and how to have the right tools to heal through this um, relationship that you may have. And so in this um, series of videos, I will be covering part one, identifying traits of covert passive aggressive narcissist, part two, the cycle of behavior, part three, forgiving, not forgetting, part four, biggest mistakes I made, part five, active ways to heal, part six, lessons that God taught me, part seven, the best way to overcome the bad memories. So I hope that this entices you to um, look forward to these videos, but also I hope that it encourages you that God does have answers to some of our difficult trials. I hope that at least you have enough tools that God gives you to heal and know your worth and to know that you're not crazy. You genuinely have someone who may not have the best interest for you and does not respect you at all. However, God loves you and he has a way out. So I look forward to sharing with you some of these things and may you live, thrive, and be healthy. God bless.